Today we're going to cover a fast and easy way to make sure your new shower has plenty of storage. And this works for both corner shower systems as well as shower niches. So follow along because it'll be the way to make sure that when you're loading everything up in your new shower, you're not saying, oh no, this doesn't fit. Or if you're having to Tetris your way through all the bottles to get your huge Tresemme bottle. No shower renovation regrets here. Let's get started. Here's the laundry list of everything we need for this, this quick project. We need a tape measure, pencil, scissors, paper. I myself like a quadrille pad, but you could any a computer piece of paper, whatever you have that's large enough to template these shelves or the niche along with every single thing that you might think you want to store. In addition to that, you want to know what the thickness is of the tile, the field tile on the wall. Because that makes a difference for both the niche as well as the shelf as to how thick the additional space that gets taken up by the rest of the tile. So we'll start off with a corner shelf because that's what we were first looking at. And it's always easier to start with a larger shelf because you can always cut your template down. So I myself would like a, to start with an eight inch shelf where I can see eight inches exposed. And I know that since I have half inch travertine, I need to add in enough for both sides of the wall. So let's say we've got our, our shelf right here and See if you can see that right there. I need to add in half inch here along the back side and then half inch along the other leg. So if I want eight inches exposed, I actually need nine inches. And if this doesn't make sense to you, I've included a diagram in the blog post that I put in the description. So if that's an easier way to look at this, go ahead and check that out as well. So if I want nine inches here, let's measure it out. So we're looking at nine inches starting there. I think I want to cut this little piece off because it's just easier using the quadrille pad just to make it an even space. go. There is our 8 inch templated out corner shelf and I know that the part right here because this is so you can see the lines here this is the half inch right here that I can simply bend in to remove the part that's going to disappear into the wall. It's kind of, it's twofold where you say, okay, obviously I can't use that for, to store my stuff, but at the same time, you're not going to forget that, that part of this disappears into the wall and it's, so you can see there. So I'm just going to fold them both down so I can't use that for the next step. So that's where, this is our template here. And then the next step is just simply seeing what fits on there. So start, start playing with your stuff. Is this, is this what I want to put on this shelf? Okay. Is that, is it easy to get the bottle out? All right. That's good enough. And then just start playing around with all of the stuff that you have. Looks like the guys, the guys shelf is good. So it's a matter of doing that sort of thing where you get, you get to play with it, the look and feel, and also figure out, hey, do I need two or three shelves based on this? Or maybe it's too big and you want to go ahead and make it smaller. 
The other thing too is you can play with it and get a feel for how large this is going to look in the wall. Again, if you want to make it smaller, all you have to do is measure off another half inch, inch, cut it off, and just check that out. And it's a pretty cheap and easy, effective way of seeing it well beforehand. Now, let's say I want to do a shower niche instead of a corner shelf system. I can get this out. Start over here. A lot of the pre-made niches come with, it's, they're generally something along the lines of 12 inches by three and a half inches. And the three and a half inch, because you're looking at something right here that's three and a half inches deep and 12 inches wide, well, again, you're going to want to know how thick your field tile is because that's going to cut into that 12 inches side to side. So again, we're looking at subtracting out for both sides. If this is 11 inches, I've got this tile as well. And you also have to account that you're going to have to have a little bit in for the mortar as well. So you're not just looking at an inch now, you're also looking at if we have an eighth inch of mortar on both sides, that's another, another quarter inch that's missing there. So instead of looking at, and I'll cut a little bit off so we've got some even, even numbers to work with. Twelve inches minus one inch minus a quarter of an inch, and we're left with time and a quarter, which hmm, is pretty much that right there. I just have to cut off that little bit on the other end, and we have our niche. And the I am going to say that since the back tile will also be cutting into it but you also have the front tile as well. So I'm gonna call that a wash. And we are looking at three and a half inches. So three and a half, that's right there. And what do we have to play with now? How will this all fit? Ooh, that trace value box is huge. <laughs> but in any case, you get a feel for how are you going to load this up? Do you want two? Do you need a third? Maybe you want a combination of, of uh, a niche as well as a, a corner. But it gives you, like, either way, you have these templates that are super easy to make. And you can see ahead of time what you need. And you can make multiples of this too, so you can place whatever you want on there. Let's just make another quick and easy one right here. That's the line right there. Like, really, make as many of these as you need. To play with them at the same time and say, look, these will go here, and, and then these will go here. So maybe you only need two or three. It's just whatever works, whatever you think looks good and works for your shower. As you can see, that templating method works for almost any kind of shower storage system you can imagine. As a pain point for me, I didn't use this technique when it came to my first tubs around. I either didn't realize that, I forgot that the back part is going to disappear into the wall, or I might have looked at what is available online where you can see what is a standard shower corner shower shelf, and I didn't, I didn't account for that extra inch that was going to disappear. So I was a little disappointed when it came time to putting everything in, and it didn't look the way that I wanted. It wasn't quite enough what, 
But at the same time, I had still put in three shelves, so that saved me there. And you can see I did the same thing here. However, I learned my lesson, and I knew what size I wanted this shower to be. These are actually these are eight inch on both sides where you can see, so it's essentially nine inch shelves. And whether or not you're planning on doing this stuff yourself or passing it off to a contractor, it's good information that you can do right now so that you don't have the same pain point. Along with, too, it might be that you realize that something off the shelf isn't going to work for you and you want to go ahead and fabricate your own so you have enough. And two, go ahead and check out that, that blog post as well because I did a comparison where you can see what is a seven inch visible shelf versus an eight inch shelf? What can you fit on one versus another? And also, you don't want to be just cramming it all down together because there's no getting around. Like, you could sit there and put all of this together on one. It's just a matter of, do you want to go through that every single time you take a shower? No. So it really helps. Templating really helps you see what you have ahead of time so you don't have that renovation regret later. I really hope that this helps you. And if you're able to use this, please, please leave a comment below and share your experience. Also, if you like this kind of information, please hit subscribe and like to support more videos like this. I'll see you in the next video.